I always look for something to learn more, looking forward to upgrading my skills whenever I can because it will pay off big time talaga. After learning such small things, after doing the Facebook advertising, like yung mga back-end inaral ko rin, like yung mga integrations, automations, now I can earn as much as 40,000 pesos a week lang yun. Before, wow. mas malaki pa yung kinikita ko ngayon kaysa nung flight attendant pa ko. Who would have thought na kaya kong kitain yun in a week just because I'm continuously upgrading creating my skills, my knowledge. Wow. Napakalaki na din. Kasi yun yung pasimula sa akin eh. Kaya mo pa to. Kaya mo pang gawin yan. Kaya mo ma-reach yan. Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again. It's Dearly Plinky Liamzon. And today's vlog ay isa na naman sa students ko ang nagkaroon ng clients as a Facebook media buyer. Ngayon, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa aking YouTube channel, ako ay nagtuturo ng Facebook advertising or um, kung gusto mo mag-work online as a Facebook media buyer. Pero kung wala ka pang idea about dito sa online freelancing, about online jobs, about Facebook advertising, meron ako generate na free training para sa iyo. Lalagay ko na lang sa description box yung link ng free training. As well as follow mo ko sa iba kong social media accounts on Facebook page at Dearly Plinky, on Instagram and TikTok at Dearly Plinky Liamzon. And of course, dito sa aking YouTube channel, huwag mo kakalimutan mag-subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated dito sa mga inspiring stories na aking in-upload. Hello AJ, good morning. Hello coach, good morning Today ay October 27, 2021 Kasama natin si AJ Konting background about AJ Si AJ ay galing sa batch 3.0 And nag-enroll siya noong November 2, 2021 So almost one year na simula noong nag-enroll siya Ang kanyang first client nakuha niya noong January 12, 2021 After almost one year ng pag-aaral nitong Facebook advertising Kumusta na kaya si AJ? Pero bago siguro natin ikwento yun ni AJ, syempre lahat naman tayo nang galing tayo somewhere. Meron tayong pinanggalingan bago tayo pumasok dito sa Facebook advertising or dito sa online. Ikaw AJ, pwede ka bang magkwento sa amin ang ginagawa mo before Facebook ads? Before, I'm a former flight attendant before I started doing freelancing or working from home. Actually, I've been doing this kind of setup for almost 3 years and then last year, I just started looking for additional skills which is yung nakita ko yung Facebook advertising until now I'm still working with the same client nung na-interview ako wow. una ni coach nung nakuha kong client nung January 2021 until now mm -hmm. I'm still working with them and flight attendant ka before pero yes. bago mag COVID or bago mag pandemic hindi naman ikaw yung kasama sa mga na lay off hindi coach matagal na rin akong nag-resign dun so I think 2017 bakit ka nag-resign? kasi coach I wanted to stay with my daughter gusto ko siyang makitang lumalaki. Kasi marami akong nakita ang mga co-workers ko na flight attendant before na talagang ang dami nilang namimiss na mga school events, mga milestones sa mga anak nila. Just because we have flights. Kasi as a flight attendant, we cannot just take a leave easily. Kasi masisira yung buong schedule ng company. Napakahirap. So I just decided na naging mom ako after a year. Nag-work pa ako sa flight attendant ng one year even though my daughter na ako. Sabi ko, ang dami ko nang namimiss one year old pa lang yung anak ko. What if when she grows up pa, nag-study na siya. Gusto ko talaga, nandun ako. Doon na ako nag-decide na mag-resign and then look for other job to take na lang. Iyon na rin yung deepest why mo because of your child. Kaya ka nag-resign. Then after noon, 2017, pinasok mo na itong online. Noong una, nag-housewife lang muna ako. Ay, hindi ko kasi alam na may ganito na online job na work from mm -hmm. home. Nakita ko na lang sa mga 2018, nag-try na ako. May nag-hire naman sa akin as VA. Then up until mm -hmm now, time ko pa rin yun. So, three years na ako sa kanya. Then, I still have more time for myself para mag-chill lang. Naisip ko, maybe I can still use those time to earn more money. Actually, hindi ko naman kagad naisip na ako Facebook ads yung gusto kong 
madagdag ng skills. Nakita ko na lang din. Nag-search ako and then nakita kita dun sa TikTok. And then, from the moment na nakita mo ako sa TikTok, nakita mo na nagtuturo ako ng Facebook advertising, nag-enroll ka ba kagad dun, AJ? I think after a month, nung nakita kita, nag-enroll ako, okay lang kaya to. Kasi first time kung mag-enroll ng mentor in my course. Tinake ko pa kasi before nun yung meron ka pang one month, six months, mm-hmm. and then lifetime. So, ang kinuha ko lang one month, which is yung pinakamura. So, and natapos ko naman siya within a month. And then after a month of finishing the course, I was hired naman kaagad. Yung ROI ko, napakabilis ko namang nakuha. And then, sabi mo, one month lang natapos mo na yung course. Kumusta naman yung learning experience mo? Nahirapan ka ba? Nagkaroon ka ba ng problem? Because parang ang hirap aralin, medyo matechnical. Actually, the learning experience is both fun and hard. Hard siya kasi from zero knowledge eh. Parang ano ba tong inaaral ko ang doon? Iniisip mo, kakayanin mo nga ba talaga to? Kasi zero knowledge ka talaga eh. Tapos doon papasok yung fun kasi unti-unti, topics by topics, may intindihan mo na siya the cycle of doing the Facebook ads. Kaya mo na to. Okay, you can do it. Once na na-hire ka, okay naman. Pero naging consistent ka ba sa pag-aaral? Like everyday? May times din na wala kang gana or medyo nakakatamad. Mm, naging consistent ako kasi na-enjoy ko siya at coach actually. Every topic kasi move on na ako. Ang saya naman nito malapit na ako matapos. Siguro minotivate ko rin yung sarili ko na kailangan mo tong matapos within one month kasi yun lang naman din talaga yung access oh. ko dun sa course. Plus, naisip ko if mag-chill lang ako yung bibigyan ko lang siya ng konting time each day. Baka makalimutan ko yung mga previous topics na napag-aralan ko na. And then after nun, natapos mo na yung course, nagkaroon ka ba kagad ng parang lakas ng loob na mag-apply or maghanap ng clients? Yes, coach. Kasi as your suggestions naman before recommendations na maghanap kagad din ng client. So, yung course, tinapos ko siya ng buong November. So, the entire December, I look for a client. Andun na yung mga interviews, yung mga failed interviews. Pero, thankful naman ako and grateful na by January of 2021, I was hired two clients kagad yung nakuha ko for Facebook ads. Ang ginawa ko talaga, nilakasan ko yung loob ko. Even though I don't have experience, lahat naman, usually, mas lamang yung mga clients na nagahanap ng experience na Facebook advertising na katulad natin, mga media buyers. So, what I did is, take it till you make it talaga. Pero, before I did that, di lang nilakasan yung loob ko, inanuhan ko rin yung knowledge ko. Parang, pinalawak ko pa. Besides dun sa pinag-aralan natin with, with your course, nagbasa-basa pa ako, nagtingin pa ako ng mga strategies sa YouTube. Marami kang mga ideas makukuha basta maging resourceful ka lang. Mm-hmm. After no, maging confident ka sa pagsagot kasi naiintindihan mo talaga yung question even though wala ka pang experience. And ngayon, AJ, ilan yung clients na hinahandle mo? Ngayon sa Facebook ads, isa na lang, nagsettle ako dun sa isa kasi like yung Singapore. Before kasi I have the Singapore client and a Filipino client pero mas prefer ko yung sa Singapore kasi mas malaki yung sweldo ko doon. For Facebook ads, isa lang. Pero meron akong VA pa rin na another one. All in all, two clients ako. For Facebook ads, I am still working with the Singaporean clients. I'm handling 30 ad accounts. And then they also taught me YouTube ads kasi nakita nila ako ng potential eh. Sila mismo, they want to invest on my skills. So, tinuruan nila ako mag YouTube ads. Yung Singaporean mo is full-time? Yes, full-time siya. Mga 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pero not necessarily na kailangan for all those hours nasa harap ka ng laptop mo or computer mo. Kailangan mo lang talaga matapos yung task mo. And after ng mga challenges, ngayon naman, AJ, after almost one year na nag-enroll ka dito sa aking paid online course, meron ba na naging impact yung Facebook advertising sa'yo or sa buhay mo? Yeah, sobrang laki nung naging impact kasi Facebook advertising taught me that I can always be more of what I am now. Learning should not stop no matter what is your age or status kasi kaya mong i-upgrade yung sarili mo eh. I always look for something to learn more, looking forward to upgrading my skills whenever I can because it will pay off big time talaga. After learning such small things after doing the Facebook advertising, like yung mga back end inaral ko rin, like yung mga integrations, automations, now I can earn as much as 40,000 pesos a week lang yun. Before, wow. mas malaki pa yung kinikita ko ngayon kaysa nung flight attendant pa ko. Who would have thought na kaya kong kitain yun in a week just because mm-hmm. I'm continuously upgrading my skills, my knowledge. Wow. Napakalaki na yun. Kasi yun yung pasimula sa akin. Eh. Kaya mo pa to. Kaya mo pang gawin yan. Kaya mo ma-reach yan. Yung huling usap natin, AJ, ang 
ang sabi mo is yung income mo as a Facebook media buyer pinang down mo sa isang real estate property ngayon kumusta na siya? Um, matatapos ko na siya by January is 3 months na lang fully paid ko Ma. na siya without having challenges dun sa payment and automatic babayaran ko na yan pa. and ngayon kasi AJ marami din flight attendants na na lay off hindi lang flight attendants kundi yung mga corporate employee lahat ng klase ng empleyado kasi nga sobrang nag struggle yung mga businesses ngayon ngayon kasi tingin ko dalawa lang yung kapupuntahan ng mga na lay off eh so either maging online seller ka or maging online freelancer ka na you are this online pipili ka na lang kung ano yung gusto mo dun sa dalawa and ang dami din naman ngayon hindi naman kasi lahat eh binayayaan na malakas yung loob nila mag take risk sa pagiging online seller or dun sa business agad yung papasukin nila meron ka bang mga tips para dun sa mga gustong sumubok dito sa online siguro ang number one na magiging tips ko is like you've said coach di naman lahat kakayanin pumasok sa business pero iniisip nila yon so they are willing to invest invest to yourself invest to your knowledge invest sa mga course na pwede mong itake kasi huwag ka lang matatakot ah baka naman pag natapos ko to wala naman ako magiging client huwag mong pangungunahan kasi sumusunod yung nagiging future mo dun eh think positive always so that yung magiging future mo positive din yung kalalabasan and of course the last is do you have any message para sa akin eh coach ang message ko lang sa'yo thank you for sharing your knowledge to us ng mga students nyo kasi through your sharing marami kang nabagong buhay and I am one of those sana uh, i-bless ka pa ng mas marami ni God kasi yan napakarami mo ang nababagong buhay sa mga iba't ibang klaseng tao like kahit anong age pa yan marami na rin akong nakita dun sa mga videos mo before na kahit na 40 plus na siya nakakuha pa rin siya ng client or kung ano man yung status nila like I'm a mom full time mom ako pero nakakapagtrabaho ako thank you thank you 